Uh, my name is Mark Coppola. I'm from Montreal, Canada, and I'm representing the Valhalla Movement Foundation here today. Uh, so I'm one of the founding members of the Valhalla Movement. Yeah, so Valhalla is all about propagating freedom culture. Now, freedom culture is, you know, uh, we're looking to encourage and empower people to spread their unique gifts to the world. And we want to have a focus on sustainability. I mean, why not try and make sustainability mainstream? Why not try and make these ideas that have generally been fringe or kind of frowned upon in certain circles explode into the mainstream? And through community, sustainable ideas, the spreading of knowledge and action, we feel that we can do that. Uh, it seems like sustainability was missing like a marketing team. And so we wanted to kind of be a part of that online, but also offline on, in terms of on the ground action. Uh, so tonight I am on a panel. Uh, we're talking about finding your higher purpose, um, how to unlock it, how to really go after it, how to um, even really hone in on it. Because sometimes we have a, an idea of what it might be, but with some, with, we're unclear as to how that might portray itself in our lives. And so hopefully we can provide a little bit of clarity on that. So Catalyst found me um, through Dan Adams. Uh, I had been working with the Higher Purpose Project, something that Dan uh, has been masterminding for a couple of, for about a year now. Um, and uh, we've been good friends. I've kind of helped him out. He's helped Valhalla out. Um, and yeah, just, I don't know how it all happened. It just kind of came together. Um, and I heard so and met so many people who had been indirectly or very directly working with Tony and the Downtown Project. And so it just kind of all seemed to swirl around me being here today. My catalyst moment came at a time where there was a lot of catalyst moments happening. Um, the financial crisis was coming and charging forward, and I had a business at the time. And I was, you know, a young entrepreneur. I had been an entrepreneur since I was 18, and it became my identity. I was in school full time, but I also owned this business, and I went and got approved for a loan for this really big idea that I had. And everything was working out and everything was going well. And then all of a sudden, my loan got revoked because of the financial crisis. And at the exact same time, I started to learn where money came from, right? How there was this system built that was designed almost like a game of musical chairs, where there was more debt than money. And it just all started to not make sense. And in that came a little bit of clarity. I'm like, well, what? What can we do to make something happen without money? Like, what is as powerful as money? And I turned towards things like media creation, so photo, video, websites, blogs. These, these present a unique opportunity that most people um, kind of overlook. We don't really realize how powerful they can sometimes be. Um, and with that, I decided to personally empower myself but empower others around me to kind of use this as a tool to generate a manifested reality. So through actually talking about something um, and kind of creating this fake it till you make it scenario, you actually make it. Um, so for me, the catalyst moment really came at that, at that time where I had all these plans and they all came crashing, burning down. I had no idea what I was gonna do. I sold my business and I decided to start something completely different which man ended up manifesting itself into the Valhalla movement. So I've never been to Vegas before. Um, but I've always had an idea of what Vegas is. And for somebody who works in the field of sustainability, Vegas is probably the worst place in the world, in my mind, at least before I got here for that, right? It's, it's a town that has its own challenges in terms of water or energy. I mean, it's, it's kind of a big, I don't know, uh, debauchery of, of craziness and, uh, that's happening. And so I had a, a picture of what Vegas was like before I got here. Um, but the downtown project and the community, which to me is what really stands out about the downtown project and Catalyst Creative, is it's incredible how you guys are working together. It's incredible how you guys are taking a, a multifaceted approach to trying to create a real community versus you know, manufacturing it with money or with one particular idea. So really allowing and enabling other people to be a part of it because that's what a community is. There's so many uh, companies that look to start movements, but they're never really genuine or they always feel like we're, we're being marketed to. 
Um, but this feels like a genuine movement, and I see the passion and excitement that is in everyone's face. You guys are all so incredibly welcoming and kind, um, and more so empowered to do what you love. And that, to me, speaks to the freedom culture uh, ideals that the Valhalla movement has and that I have.